Uh, welcome back. I've got Esther, Ava and Trisha still with me, of course. So, uh, Esther, where do we go from here? See, I, I kind of feel the moment I revealed these names, it would trigger a process which would actually just lance this boil once and for all. It would all get out there. Yeah. How do you think the Sussexes are going to respond? Well, I think they're going to regret how they went about it because I do think th th this is all just a, a play of bad faith, actually, and this, the whole interaction that happened. The British public have had, like, three years yeah. to, to, to ruminate over this, to think, is it possible, actually, of all the things that are coming up? Because they did multiple interviews. Spare came out where mm. he didn't even mention it. That's the weirdest actually, thing to me. It sounds like much ado about nothing. So I think most people are like... And now that the names are out, it's like, oh, come on, no. It's I mean, Ava, I did think it's quite extraordinary that you, you launched this bombshell you brand the family racist. Quite clearly, we've played the clips back. And then you don't mention it in a 400-page book. You don't mention it in your six-part Netflix series about your life. You don't mention it in the Spotify podcast. None of it. It's all just, it's just got airbrushed. But how could they mention it? I mean, it's... Well, it's quite easy. No, but come on, well, if you, come on. If you literally they did been... an interview with Oprah about the it. The lines of power are skewed against them, aren't they? They can't come out and call the king a racist. They can't do that. No, but that. they can... They and can, they know they, can, they can't they can, do that. They can they do, detail they the interaction in... They can detail the reaction, interaction and actually name the They're still very people. much at the behest of the royal family. So, as you, said, they, actually, they're not. No, but as, as you said, they trade under their titles, they trade yeah. under their names, and they also do need certain things from the royal family. They also had, you know... The queen would have still been alive when that Oprah interview went out and they knew that they couldn't completely blow all of their relationships with mm. the family, but clearly this has had some very significant effect on Meghan, and we are looking at a woman who is claiming racism. And I just think that we should, as the public, take that seriously. I yeah, I'm afraid we've taken it seriously, and it turned out that two years later they said, oh, we didn't mean to say racism. Literally, yeah, Harry said, said we didn't bias. mean to say racism. The press said that. I mean, he's such a liar. 